Did you know that cesium and gold form an ionic compound called cesium auride? Me neither. But a few days ago, I was talking to a person that was also trying to make a pure cesium bio. He has a great setup and I think we will help each other to get to our goal. Anyway, in our conversation, he mentioned a compound called cesium auride. It is an inorganic compound with a cesium cation and a gold anion. It is one of the rare cases where gold exists as an anion. It was the first aurite that was discovered in 1978. It is not an alloy, as one would think. It has no metallic properties. Cesium aurite is a yellow crystalline compound and is formed when a stoichiometric mixture of cesium and gold is heated. I think this compound sounds really interesting. I never saw a video about it and as far as I know, Nobody has ever done it outside of a lab before. And I think these are two very good reasons to try it myself. This try was only a proof of concept to see if my apparatus would work. I will use the things I'm learning in this run to improve the procedure for another try. To make the cesium auride, we first need some gold. This is a gold bar. It's one gram of 99.99% pure gold. And in the original paper, they precipitated fine gold dust out of solution by reducing a chlorouric acid solution with oxalic acid, as far as I know. The reason is that they want to get the highest possible surface area. I don't want to do this step. I don't have the chemicals to do it. So I'm just trying to file this gold bar to get fine shavings that hopefully will react the same way, just a little bit slower. My first try will be by using half a gram of gold. So let's file this gold bar, collect the shavings and weigh out about half a gram. This is the gold bar. So let's see how much we've got this far. Yeah, I think I will leave it at that and try it with 0.33 grams of gold. As you can see, there are some larger pieces in there. The problem is that the gold is so soft then that when I'm filing it, the edges roll over and at some point they detach and I get these larger pieces, but we will see if they react or if it really needs to be a fine dust. I've just collected the rest of the gold that um, my tray collected and now we are at 0 0.341 grams. Yeah, and as I said, I will try it with this amount and we will see if it works. So let's talk about what the plan is to make the cesium all right. This is just a test run. I just want to see if the synthesis works this way. This is the still I botched together really quickly. And what I will do is fill the gold in on this side here and it will be in this vial on the right side. Then I will transfer the cesium through this side neck here into this um, vial and then I will seal the glass tube off here. I won't be able to avoid oxidation to the cesium when transferring it to the still but I don't think it's that bad because afterwards a vacuum is applied here and I will distill the cesium from this tube over to this tube where my gold is, then the gold will hopefully react with the cesium and after the reaction is done, I can just heat this side up again and distill the cesium back into the first flask. Um, and hopefully my cesium auride, which ha has a higher boiling point than the cesium, at least um, I hope the boiling point difference is high enough, will be left um, in the vial on the right side. 
Yeah, normally I would only need around two point, uh, 0 0.23 grams of cesium for my 0 0.34 grams of gold because the reaction is stoichiometric. But I will just use an excess of cesium because I will distill it back anyways in the end. And that way I don't have to care about the amount of cesium I'm adding to the gold. So all the gold is now in the right vial. I will put this still in the oven at around 200 degrees C to dry it again and then I will fill it with cesium. As you can see I've transferred all the cesium into the first vial and as I said the cesium partially oxidized. There is no way around this, at least not with my setup and I will just evacuate the system completely and after that I'm going to start distilling over the cesium from here into this vial where my gold is. Here you can see the start of the distillation. Since the cesium and gold needed to be heated at around 200 degrees C, I waited for the cesium to collect in my second vial and heated that vial periodically until the cesium vaporized. Since the rest of the still was cold enough, the cesium condensed on the upper walls of the vial and dripped back onto the gold. I repeated this process for around an hour before I heated the whole vial to completely remove any cesium that was left. The product was a yellow reddish substance. It definitely was not gold and it wasn't cesium either, so the reaction was at least partially successful. I could see the larger shavings of gold at the bottom of the vial, so it seems like the larger pieces did not react completely. Compared to the cesium aurite shown in the paper, my product looks a lot darker. But the cesium aurite in the paper was recrystallized from liquid ammonia, so it is possible that the product they started with was darker too. I opened up the vial to see how the reaction with water would look like. Upon being exposed to oxygen, the product almost immediately lost its yellow color and turned dark. The reaction with water should produce cesium hydroxide, gold and hydrogen. And indeed, the reaction was comparable to that of calcium and water. You can see the small hydrogen bubbles emerging from the bottom of the flask. The gold that was formed was a brown powder. I washed that powder with some distilled water and melted it into a small piece of gold. So while looking at me melting the gold, let's talk about how to improve the synthesis. The particle size of the gold definitely is more crucial than I hoped. For the next attempt I will dissolve the gold as chlorauric acid and reduce it using sodium sulfide or oxalic acid to create a gold powder with a very high surface area. I think I will also increase the diameter of the tube containing the gold to make sure all of the gold comes into contact with the cesium. I may also add a glass stir bar to agitate the gold. After the next successful attempt I will make another video. Thank you a lot for watching.